What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another All oh, the Mods 8 Hardcore Minecraft video. My name is Josh GG and I have um, done something. I realized that I'm going to need a lot of slimes. Um, and looking at the ATM star here, I'm going to need, or oh, not even the ATM star, if we go back to our 1048, click craft and craft, we're going to need 6,264 slimes. So I do have uh, slimes being made through a simulation chamber out in the uh, the real world, or out in the mining dimension, not the real world, I'm in the overworld. Um, but I also realized that if we go here and we look up slime, and I actually look to see what options I have available to me, if we come all the way down here, we can look at separator for one, but also we can come down here to the thermal series to the centrifugal separator. This takes magma cream and turns it into blo both blaze powder and slime balls. Well, we go back to my um, beautiful uh, crafting here. I have 2.9K magma. And to make more magma, all I need is just molten core, which I have quite a few of, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I have 1.1K of molten core, and I think I can make more of those. But really what I can do here is basically just, you know, make a bunch of these. And then if I come back over here and go to Magma Cream, I have 7K. So I'm up to 7K right here, but that's not going to do me anything if I don't have it going anywhere. So I can basically do this right here. I don't want to do that. That's way over here. I can grab some Magma, some couple couple stacks of these, and I can basically just throw them in there, obviously. Um, can't fill it up just yet because it's, it's just a basic chest. But it's pushing them into the centrifugal separator here through thermal series, and that's pushing them and creating our magma and blaze powder, or slime ball and blaze powder. And then of course I can do basic two, uh, grab a ba uh, grab two of these, grab two of these, grab two of these, and then grab two of these. And then I can turn both of these into beautiful netherite chests. And that will allow me to be able to put a lot more magma cream in there. I can also add in uh, stack upgrades, but I don't really think that's necessary. Um, not right now, at least. Um, oops. Particularly because if you think about the, uh, well, the general gist of everything, it's, I don't know. I'm just like, I don't need, I, I, I feel like I'm going to have enough. So this is going to give me the slime I need. So then all I'm going to need now for the 1048, since I'm going to have basically all the slime I need here soon, is I just need our quartz. So I'm going to actually do this real quick. I'm going to see how much quartz I'm missing. So we're going to take this right here out. And I want to see what all I'm missing now that I have that. And I think I'm going to have to take the other one out as well. Yeah, this one right here out. Where is it at? Wait, where is that one? Oh wait, it's in my furnace one, that's right. Um, there it is. So if I take that out and then come back here and go 1048 and click craft, you can see we need 337,000. So, oh my goodness. So that is absolutely going to take a very long time to get, but I do have my, uh, um, my farms doing their thing. So we have uh, 1,005 nether quartz essence and uh, 929 nether quartz uh, enriched iron essence. So this will be beneficial. This will help us kind of get to where we need to be. Uh, it'll just take some time. So the 1048 isn't too far out. Uh, we're you know currently working on getting our we're out of predictions. Um, we're currently working on getting our... Um... <laughs> Sorry, my brain just stopped working. Our wither nether stars and everything done. Uh, we have a ways to go if you actually... If we go in here um, and do just creating a singular block, we still need 5,648 to create 15 of these bad boys. We need 97,000 more nether stars, which is going to take a very long time to get. Uh, so I, I would, if you guys have any like 
suggestions on <laughs> what I can do to get these nether stars quicker, let me know. Um, this is a big reason why I feel like we, we absolutely need to start up a second, uh, you know, secondary content or a secondary little source or video mod pack or whatever series, uh, because a lot of the stuff I should be doing off recording. And then once we finish up basically with the, uh, with the ATM star, we'll pretty much be set. But we go back to our bite, uh, mining dimension base over here. I jump up, jump up and take a look here. You can see we have 1.2 K right there. We have nothing pushing through right there, but we do have, um, you know, everything kind of running. So unfortunately I don't know a way to get the, um, these bad boys right here to go straight either into that chest or into another chest or something. Um, I don't, I don't know how to do that. So that's just, uh, kind of annoying, but we do have a bunch of, uh, prediction matrices in there. Do have this, and then this is basically just creating a ridiculous amount of slime balls for us as well. So we have the magma cream being separated between blaze powder and slime balls. Uh, we have um, slime balls being simulated here, and then we'll kind of go from there. So pretty much just a, um, it's gonna take some time. And as much as I wanna do AE2, I'm just, I'm so far into refined storage already, I don't see a reason for me to fight getting a E2 set up. But what I want to do now is I want to go back home to our overworld base, come up here and take a look at the Nexium emitter, see what all we already have. Not Nexium emitter, um, improbable probability device. We have, okay. So, this requires two solar recharging units, and it requires these two battery, nitro batteries, that are fully up to two billion power. So there's a way for us to do this, and it's going to pretty much, it's gonna suck. <laughs> um, but we, we, we need to kind of look, take a look into this and see what, uh, what capabilities our uh, little bad dude over here has not the uh, not the not that one, the power one. Um, and also, I remember I did block this right here, and this is up to seventy six thousand. Not enough. Um, so this right here, as you can see, I can't. I can throw this in here, and it will charge it, but it's going to. Well, actually, that's charging up pretty fast. Um, hmm. Anyway, we'll let that do its thing. I wonder if I can charge, no, I can't charge two. So I'll let that do its thing for a little bit. Uh, this right here, mm, still need to figure out a good way for that. I need to figure out a good solution for this. But for the most part, I think this is gonna be pretty, pretty convenient. Um, I think this is really only pushing power. So I think, yeah. You can see the input is 114, um, the reason for that is because I had to lower this down to five. I think I should be good to put this up to 15. Because I think we have enough fissile fuel being created and stored. Um, this is still pushing stuff in on all ends, so that's good. Okay, so I think that should pump up this power output or input I should say to a little bit more so not where we need it obviously I do want to I will likely do something here um, after I finish creating a majority of the uh, the uh, blocks I need um, I'm just I don't know I'm very much a uh, I'm still trying to figure things out <laughs> but this, these batteries actually charge rather quickly. I wonder if I could push this up to 20 without it knocking my uh, stuff down. And I don't know how much is going through here. So this is going down a lot quicker than it's going up, than it's being produced. So... 
do have four speed upgrades, six energy upgrades, and four muffling upgrades in here, but that should be okay for the time being, just so I can charge these two devices here. But this should be, yeah, this should be okay. Um, all, both of these should get charged up here. That's that's pretty good. And then once we do that, we can take this back down to, uh, to maybe 10. But really what I want to do is I want to be able to push that to a, a higher limit without worrying about, well, anything else. Like if I were to put this to like 30, for instance. Conveniently, it's still going. Uh, max burn rate is 78. If I put it to 40, water starts going down. 35. Water's still going down. Go back to 30. Water's going back up. Okay. So now this should be... Yeah, input is not too much worse off than than uh, the actual power. So we'll... um. I'm thinking maybe the reason why this is uh, taking so long is because I, I get very uh, nervous with this <laughs> reactor. Um, I think we're good for the time being, though. I think I can leave it at 30, and I think that will help kind of fill up a little bit more of this, um, this right here. I think it goes up faster if there's if it's burning if the burn rate's higher. I assume I just don't want this to end up messing up and causing a meltdown or anything. Thankfully I do have that over there. I haven't, don't know if that works and I don't have any damage, thankfully. Um, but once this is done, we'll probably knock that back down a little bit, probably to 15. Boom. Okay. Two of these bad boys. Let's knock this back down to 15. And then now we'll let this power back up, charge back up. The input is, what is being output? That is a good question. What is being output right now? Why is the output at 819? I assume it's the alloys. What if I were to do this right here? See where we're at with alloys. We're at 12. Let's grab that. Now let's go home and turn the alloys off, uh, cancel the, uh, cancel this and let it kind of build up power. Um, I know I probably should leave these do its thing, but I would much rather be able to, let my power build back up. Yeah, output is significantly lower. So just make sure that the steam and everything is good. Make sure that these are good. So this is, you can kind of see it's it's going up. So that's good. So 15 is the is the magic number right now. So it's inputting more than it's exporting, thankfully. Um, we'll let this kind of build up on power. This right here is up to 89,000. This is building back up in power. And we have another alloy block we can throw into our beautiful, unfinished, and very, uh, very far from being finished star. So let's go take a look, see here at what we, uh, what all we got going on over here where we can put this one maybe put this one right there yeah i like it so we're missing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we're missing eleven so we just need eleven more that's not too bad i mean we'll get there i have faith <laughs> and of course we're missing a ridiculous amount of antimatter pellets but likely what i end up doing is just I said I was going to do this beforehand, but I'm going to do it now. Um, I'm going to let this right here kind of... I might actually break off a piece of this right here. Because um, I think there's a way... Uh, um, hold on, let me just check the quest through mechanism. I think there's a way, or maybe it's not mechanism. Source power can also be used to 
charge items. No. What I'm thinking is I want a storage for what I assume to be gas, right? These are pressurized tubes. Yes. So I need a gas storage device. Um, so this right here is where we store our gases. But how can we get our gases in and out of this is my, is my question. Uh, let's see. We do that. Let's see. How do we create a... That doesn't help me. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe. Now, before I put anything in there, is there, there's not an area in here for me to dump a chemical tank. Huh. So I think... I'll just let it kind of build up in the in the pipe in the tube. That's fine. I was planning what I was thinking of is I would I would uh, set up a little storage solution here so I can store what I need it to store, and then once I have enough in there, I can reconnect these two cables, and this will obvious this will also be like more and more like more charged have a, a heavy a higher charge so that's that's what i should do i should create the um i should create more of those i know that's probably not very helpful at all but these right here uh the induction cells so induction cells increase the total amount of power that can be stored induction providers increase the total transfer speed both in and out so let's go ahead and do this we'll uh let's create an ultimate one of these and an ultimate one of these. I think I just did the exact same thing twice. I did not. Cool. Okay. So to create, we're just going to do it simply. The way that I've been doing with, with everything else that we've done. You guys already know. <laughs> so we're going to start with the ultimate induction provider. Boom. Now we do the advanced one. Or the elite one. Now we do the advanced one. So it should be advanced, elite, ultimate. This is the advanced, so we'll do a basic. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So now we'll do these. One. Two. Oops. Three. Did I just do... Okay, so things should line up. Four. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at what items and objects we'll likely need. I assume these energy tablets. Um, so energy tablet. Uh, so we need an ultimate energy cube. An elite energy cube an advanced energy cube and a basic energy cube I think that's okay I think these energy tablets are all the same I think yeah they're all the same okay and we already have I believe we already have the alloys and everything set up so We'll plop these in here, and then now we'll come back to our here, and we'll do the ultimate induction cell. We'll make one of these. So we're missing lithium dust and steel casings. So we do need to make some steel casing ones, so that's okay. Um, I assume it's gonna be in here. Do this, and then we need a lithium dust one. Um,
Lithium dust, okay. So this bad boy right here. Through a chemical crystallizer. Okay, so we have... We have a chemical crystallizer right now that has lithium rolling through it. Now, this is sending it through... Oh, well, this... This is sending it into... Hold on, let's see if I can do... Uh, items... I don't know what direction this is for that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do items, auto-eject, on. We're going to do output, 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 output. <laughs> okay. It's not sending it because, unfortunately... I know what I can do. We'll do a logistical cable right here and here. And then we'll grab our configurator, pull the items and push them in there. And now change this for items, output and input. And now it should Hello. Why you no work? Um. Oh, because it's it's set to that. Never mind. Um. It's set to the fission, not to my actual network. Huh. I don't have a. I do have a network receiver. I don't have another network card. So let's plop that down right there for the time being. And then let's make another network card real quick. This one, this one. And now we'll right click that. So we'll head home. This will allow us to be able to automate the lithium as well. Let's see here. Um, which one of these is not being used? six blocks away so that's that doesn't make any sense that's connected anyway okay mm -hmm. okay i guess you can't reset it um cool let's go back make sure this is connected it's not Interesting that it didn't connect. Okay. Oh, you know why? I forgot this is why right here. Um, push items from your system to a block, so I need an importer. I don't have one. But I do have, I thought I had the crafter. I'm not going to worry about making a hefty importer. Of course, this is a requirement. Hold, please. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I didn't want to go all the way back. Okay, those are good. Why is this not connecting? Hmm. Oh, you know why this isn't connecting? Because this is how it connects right there. Duh. There we go. Cool. So now it's pushing the lithium dust into our system. Perfect. Now we'll go home. Look, it, sometimes my brain doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Sometimes it does. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs>
We will make things work. So improbable probability device. We have the two completely charged bad boys that we need. Beautiful. So now we'll make our ultimate induction. So let's do ultimate. Click induction. Start. So we're missing 47 of those and steel dust. So steel dust, I thought I had a recipe for or a pattern for that. But I guess I do not. I know why, actually. Um, I got rid of the steel dust and the iron dust ones because every time I wanted this to do a thing... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, anytime I wanted it to create me some steel dust or iron dust, it would basically... It would, it would screw me over. Uh, by making a ridiculous amount of hammers. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Okay, do 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 do. As you can tell with the amount of hammers that I have, I have yet to figure out why it does that, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about it. It's all good. Okay. Plenty of iron dust, plenty of coal, plenty of everything I need. So, beautiful. I let's say that. Um, that should be enough, actually. So, we'll come back over here and do ultimate. I think I should just be missing the lithium dust, which is okay. Because we have lithium dust being created right now, so we'll just have to wait a second. This right here will require elite control circuits, advanced control circuits, and ultimate control circuits. I Thought I had the material set for those. Um, okay. Let's see. Guess not. So let's do elite control. We will create the pattern for this. Um, advance. <sighs> Control, I for some odd reason could not see that. And then, what was the next one we needed? Um, ultimate, yes, ultimate, this bad boy. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can plop those in there. And when we come back to our grid here, type in ultimate, click craft, start. We're just missing. So we need 240 lithium dust for that one. We need 241 for this one. So we'll likely make, because we don't need to do anything with the energy cubes because those get made automatically. So I'll just kind of keep doing this until I have enough. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. I just realized I also have a ultimate energy cube right there. That's beautiful. Um, cool. So we're pretty much almost there. We're almost ready for that. Um, that's good. Let's uh, grab our slime out of here. Throw it in here and see where we're at with the slime in here. Start. 5,741. So we're still missing quite a few, which is fine, I guess. Ultimate, so let's do this. Missing five. Wait a second. Should be missing four. <laughs> let's go out here and take a look. sees at our um, slime stuff. Just while we have a second, we'll, do, we'll take a look at the slime and how much slime we have in here. 3.1k. Not too shabby. Not too bad at all. And then now we should be down to like just over 4k. Oh, just over 3k. Very nice. We're missing. No, 2600. That's not bad at all. Very nice. So now. 
If I come here and do ultimate, I can click this, start, and then start, and then that should create, start creating the ultimates. I need to take that out. I need to remember to come in here and take out the uh, those predictions out of there. Uh, let's go into our refined storage and take a look at how that crafting is going, make sure everything is going smoothly. Yeah, so everything seems like it's going pretty smoothly here. Um, <laughs> this right here, the 1,140 of these is absolutely a problem, but it'll work out. <laughs> Thankfully, it doesn't take that much. It just uh, sends redstone through here to this bad boy right here. And we just got to make sure we're keeping this chest full of redstone, basically. And we're making sure... I need to also check, grab, see if I have any enriched diamonds. I do not. So this is probably going to be a problem, and this one's probably going to be a problem, too. Because um, we really don't have that much stuff. We don't have any... Oh, boy. Uh, uh, let's do obsidian. We'll grab a stack of 64 of these, plop them in there. Um, don't remember how to make refine. Is refine through the redstone one or is refine through the diamond one? I feel like refine through the diamond one. Oh, boy. That's fine. Uh, we don't need that many of the heavier ones. Um, actually, I don't think we need, I think we just need four of those, 20 of those. I think we're good. We just need a bunch of these. Hopefully that's all it is. Yeah, cool. Very nice. So if we just make one more of those, that adds an additional 52, adds an additional 1.6 TFE which is insane as it is, but that, that'll help out significantly. Um, and I was asked if I've made a time in the bottle before. Um, I have not because I don't have, um, I haven't made the augments for it. Let me see if I can make that real quick. I don't actually think I have all this stuff to make it. We're missing speed three augments, which means we need infusion crafting, which is just that thing we do out there. Um, so I'm gonna grab these four, these four, and then of course I need a tier two augment, which requires these. Actually, I'm gonna do this right here, and then four sugar, and the tier two. Actually, I need to grab multiples of these. Now that I think about it, because I need two for each. So we'll come back in here. Okay. Yeah, we're out of prudentium, which means I should be able to do this right here. Do this right here and just create a little bit of that. Grab you. Do this one more time. Oops. Okay, so let's go out here, just because this is something that was asked of me, um, if I've done it before and I haven't, and I'm just, I want to see how it works. I'm still not 100%. I was told, oh, well, it, um, it's basically set up that way, so you can pretty much just, uh, um, I'm trying to think of the way that it was phrased to me. Seriously? Can I help you? Mangrove, black dye. Yeah, you don't really have anything I want. Um, that's laggy. I'm trying to remember the phrasing. Um, Pretty much I can make it so that the uh, um, everything goes a lot s smoother. Uh, well, not smoother, but basically I can quote unquote save time. 
which I'm not sure. I'm still not sure how it works. To be completely honest with you, I'm, <laughs> I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing with this stuff half the time. So just don't mind me for being, for having incompetence in everything that I do. I promise you guys I will learn. It's, it will just take me a lot more time than it would probably take most people. But making a time in the bottle may be able to help us with like the speed, like speeding up a lot of the processes. I.e. maybe doing the antimatter stuff. I don't know. So let's go. Okay, we'll go back inside now. So glad I didn't get smacked in the face with that. So we're missing an upgrade speed, which means we're missing comb blocks. Doesn't seem too bad. Upgrade base, which means we're missing a honeycomb treat, which means we're missing one of these. <laughs> Look, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Very strange that I have to do a honeycomb for this stuff, but I guess it kind of makes sense. Maybe. There you go. I made a time in a bottle. Cool. I, why did I put... <laughs> I don't know how to accumulate time with it, so we'll just kind of go with the flow, see what happens. See how the crafting's coming along. Crafting's coming along pretty good. It's doing about 3,000 so far. Now, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to come back over here and look up our quart situation. We have 4.5K quartz essence and 4.2K uh, quartz rich iron essence. So let's go ahead and just make a bunch of... Go ahead and make all this stuff, turn all this into um, the proper gear that it needs to be. It's still going to take a long time for us to get where we need to get with this, but you know what I'm talking about. Because the quartz, um, the nether quartz, this quartz is pretty much going to be useful for turning. Um, I like the fact that I cannot find the items I need. Or I want to find. Like, I'm looking for the Encorts Enriched Iron just in this list without having to type anymore. And I genuinely cannot find I'll see this one right here, but I don't see the actual Quartz Enriched Iron. I hate being as blind as I am. <laughs> Everything just blends in together. Whatever, we'll just... Talk it. Um... Pretty much what's, what's happening is the um, the reason I need so much quartz is because it takes three quartz to make one quartz and rich iron, if I'm not mistaken. I can actually go back in here and check. But you can see right here, it takes three quartz, or no, it takes one quartz and three iron ingots to make it. Four, that doesn't make any sense. Why, are we, why do we need so much? 1048, what do we need? How much do we need? 219,000. So I don't know why it requires so many of these. It's crazy. Where are we at now? 653? I don't know. I don't get it. Genuinely have no idea. Mm, beautiful. Okay. Hmm. Try to not have vision. I did change headsets. Um, I'm using my um, my one that I did buy that I would need to actually, I actually do need to buy a better Bluetooth adapter for my computer soon. Um, but I can plug it in directly to my computer and there's no more cackling, crackling sound, which is very nice. Uh, let's see how much is in here. 127,000 is in there. That gives me about a little bit over 100, I think. Yeah, because 1,000 is 1, 10,000 is 10, 100,000 is 100. So, that's so stupid. That's ridiculous that it takes that much. But when you think about, like, the other side of it, 
this right here, these two little blocks right here, the most difficult part about the, these two little blocks right here that make the antimatter is this right here, knowing where what you need, these overclocked heat vents, these quad uranium fuel rods, reactor platings, component heat vents, knowing where these are and where to put them is the hardest part of this. Setting up a cable in between them and then watch, like, watch this, I click play, all of a sudden it starts pushing power in here and then I'm gonna have antimatter within a couple of seconds, watch this. How, why is that? Why is this? Why is that a thing? Why is this the way you get that type of antimatter? But then you have to go through a plethora of steps to get antimatter from mechanism. It's ridiculous. It's annoying. <laughs> I hate every second of it. <laughs> oh, at this point, I'm just complaining to complain. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, but yeah, so pretty much that's that's the that's the gist of today. <laughs> we didn't really do too much. Um, we we did some lithium stuff. Uh, we're getting we're getting ever so closer. I think in the next one we'll be able to make the uh, old, one of these adult one of these. Um, I think right now we're just waiting on the lithium to do its thing. We only need two hundred forty five more, and the lithium over there is kind of still pushing through. But with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching this video. I truly do appreciate it. My name is Josh GG. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, leave a comment down below. Let me know what I could do differently to make these videos better for all of you guys. And make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Join our Discord if you are not already. Great group of people that are in the Discord. The community is growing, and I'm very grateful to each and every one of you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.